Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the fourth problem from the bi-weekly contest 86. The problem name is maximum number of robots within budget. Okay. So the problem statement, I'll tell you in simple terms. What it actually says that you have n robots. You are given a zero index integer array charge times and cost like running cost. So both of length n. The ith robot cost charge times unit to charge as well as cost of running cost i unit to run. Okay, so you have two arrays and uh, like for particular i robot, it requires this amount of amount to charge and this amount to run. Okay, and you're also given an integer budget for your robots. Now the total cost of running k chosen robots, if you have to like total cost of running k chosen robots is equal to maximum of charge time plus k into sum of running cost. Okay, so sum of all the running costs and the maximum of charge times where maximum charge time is the maximum of all the key robots that you've chosen and sum is the sum of the running cost. And uh, okay. now you have to return, now that's the overall thing. Now what you actually have to find out is the maximum number of consecutive robots. So if you choose consecutive robots that you can run, does their total cost should not exceed the budget amount. Okay, so you have to choose k consecutive robots and uh, like you have to maximize the k consecutive robots you can choose. Like what is the maximum number of k consecutive robots you can choose? Does that it should not exceed the total budget and uh, you can run out those case consecutive robots. That's the whole thing. Now, the, the first thing which I'm runs to my mind is like when I see this, I'm like I have should not exceed. Okay, so it should be less than and it's a maximum number of robots. So I have already made a series on binary search. It's a very similar type of problem. It's a good problem on binary search as well. So uh, you can directly just get and there's a, actually a monitoring function here here as well. So most of the conditions are set so it is actually just like if you have solved a lot of binary search problems you can directly click that it is a binary search problem okay so what we are trying to do now do it with binary search problem is let's say that you have to find out the key maximum number of robots so you will just iterate over so minimum number of robots you can choose is one and the maximum you can choose all the robots so you will just do binary search over all the let's say like uh, the number of robots you can choose and then you can just check that if i have chosen let's say five robots whether i can find out uh, like a window of five robots or like five consecutive robots that will satisfy this budget condition okay that's the whole like a simple gist of this problem so if i just tell you in simple terms again what i what i will find out is that we'll do binary search over the k robots that i can use and then let's say i can like if i do binary search and just find out let's say can i make a window of five robots okay uh, that is under the budget and that will satisfy this condition. So I will take five and call a function that will just check that. Can I find out five consecutive robots that will satisfy the current condition? If yes, then the answer is five is fine. Because I want to maximize it. So can I go to, let's say more than five, then I'll again do binary search on more than five. I have five, but can I go more than five on less than five or something like that? And that's the whole thing. Nothing much to draw it out as in I'll just move on to the code part so that it will become more clear to you we'll understand more, most of it there but that's all logic here so if you've already not seen my binary search video I'll, I'll like playlist I'll link down here as well but it is highly recommended for you all these problems will come very handy and very fast to you after solving all those problems so what we have done here is that uh, this is the charge time I just want n so the minimum number of words I can choose is one the maximum I can choose is n and then uh, this is the answer that I actually need to return. Then I'll do just binary search, find out, go to the mid. And this check function will just check that is there a window of length mid, okay, uh, that we have to find out. And uh, like that will compromise all the key robots that I need, need, like actually need, and that satisfy the budget constraint. If it is, the answer is mid, and we go to L equal to mid plus one, and the answer is R equal to mid minus. So if I get the answer, I'll make my answer equal to mid. But now because I've got the answer, I have to like shorten my range of search. I'll make my L equal to mid plus one. If I don't get the answer, uh, that's not the answer. So I'll just make my R equal to mid minus one. And in the end, whatever the answer, I just return. That's a starter function and like what actually is done in the boot, like in the binary search. The main magic is done in this check function that is actually checking out that whether it is possible to find out a window of size K or like at size mid that actually satisfies this budget condition. Let us move down to there. And that is actually one more optimization that is done. So what is the actual function that I need to actually find out? What you can see is that I want to find out the maximum of charge time plus k into, so I need k, I need the, like I, I know the length of the k, k into sum of the running cost. Okay, so the running cost all of this. So I have, let's say mid, okay, that is the, what you can say, 
the total so mid is actually the length key okay so i need i have the budget i have the running cost i have the like running cost charge for all of that okay so what we actually have to find out is i have to take a let's say a window of size let's say mid okay so what we'll do is that i will just first make a window let's say i'll take the first mid like first mid elements so or let's say key elements you can just say and we have to find out the sum of all of them like the sum of the running charge and the maximum of their what you can say uh charging time okay so maximum of the charging time so maximum charging time you can like find out using priority queue it's very simple to just insert you can use a multi set whatever you can want just push all of them in the priority queue okay and then uh, whatever is the top element of the priority queue you can just make a maxi priority queue like this and just push them all of that and then oh, you just get the so answer final answer is the sum so this function is sum of all the values into mid like the total length of the bracket or like the window you have plus the maximum charge time so that's what we find out sum into then mid what is the what is the length of the segment then the top top is the maximum of the priority queue that is the maximum charge time so if it is already less than budget less than equal to budget that we have the answer is already true because we have taken just the first key elements that is for satisfying the budget that is true if not i have to now shift my window so what we are trying to do is that we are doing a sliding window technique over this particular array that we have okay and for that what we'll do is that i will slide now the main thing that will come in this sliding is that i'll just slide out so let's take one thing let's take one example so let's say i have a window let's say of size One, two, three, four, five, six. I window let's say of size four. So I have two entities. Okay, I have their maximum value and their sum. When I slide this to this, I can easily just delete out this value, add this value, so I can just easily manipulate with the sum. But how can I manipulate with the maximum of all of them? For that, I can use a priority. Like I have used a priority queue. Or if you use a multi set, in priority queue you cannot like erase out a particular number. It's very difficult to a particular number, or else it will take a very high uh, amount of time. So if you use a multi set, you can just delete out a particular number. So let's say I I I have this number. So you can make a let's say a multi set in which the top element is the maximum element. You can directly make that. And if you want to shift your window, you can just delete out this number, and you can add this number, and the multi set will automatically like sort it out, and you can just get the top element that is the maximum element. So it is pretty much simple to do that. But the overall thing is because the constraints are not like that. I first tried out using multi set and just do done this, but it will give a time limit exceed because you are doing too much login operations to just insert or delete all of that in priority queue. That it will eventually just give you a time limit exceed. So we have to do one small optimization here. We'll talk about that. But the overall idea here is that I will just shift my window. So sum is related by i minus mid. So the size of the window is let's say mid. Okay. So i minus mid. If I go mid number of steps back, I have to delete that number. So I'll de delete that number from the sum, and eventually add that the running sum that we have, and also push the current charge sum. Then I'll get the new window size, and then in the new window, I will again find out the new value. And if it is lower than budget, then I'll just return true. Else, if I do not find out for any window, then answer is false. So the overall idea here lies is that I'm just sliding out my window, okay, adding the new element, returning the previous element, and just finding out that whether for any window of consecutive size of size, let's say k, or I can say just mid, which is which has the particular value of sum into k plus maximum value is. Less than equal to budget. If any one of those windows satisfies, answer is true. But the only condition now comes down to like how we can insert or delete like the actual element in the priority queue. That's the overall logic that we have used here. I'll just tell you here. So the overall thing is that if I just do a deletion for every element and just like insertion here and deletion here, so it is a very costly operation. So what we are trying to do is that we are trying to do an optimization here. Let's understand it very carefully. What we're trying to do here is, let's say that the priority queue is so to pop out the in the like if you want to take out the element from priority queue, it's very simple. You can just pop out the top element, okay. But if you want to delete a particular number in the multi set, then it will take large amount of time because it will first search, it will just do a complete iteration in the multi set, search that number and then delete out. So it will be take over n. But for deletion out from priority queue, it's log n. Okay, from multi set, it will take over n. So it will be very long time consuming. And in priority queue, you cannot delete a particular element at a particular position, so it's very difficult. So what we'll try to do is that we will use the priority queue to do a deletion. But what we'll try to do here is that let's say my priority queue has these numbers. Let's just take an example that my priority queue has 
25 as the maximum number so the next number is let's say 20 the next number is 10 and the last number is let's say 5 so these are the four numbers and let's say now i want to add one more number so let's say the number that i want to add is let's say 70 okay and i will re removing out this number so let's say the number are like this only 5 let's say this is 10 this is 20 25 these are the numbers okay now if i want to add 70 now in this particular position whether the maximum will be changed in this in this whole condition no because even if i put 17 there is already 25 in the array and that is the top element even if i put a smaller number then because i want to actually find out the maximum of this particular window until 25 is removed if i put any number that is smaller than 25 it will be not altering or changing out the top maximum number in the parity so why to remove that got the thing so what we are trying to do is that i will actually make some sort of a container let's say make a map that will store that the number that i'm adding the number that i'm adding is it less than or greater than 25 okay let's say if it is less than 25 then just add this number in, in the priority queue and what number that i'm removing i'm removing five so put this number in the map that i want to remove five in the later stage of the whole condition don't need to remove now because in moving 25 like 5 now doesn't make any sense because it will not affect the maximum element okay the maximum element will not be changed if i even if i remove 5 and add 17 that maximum element will not change so just insert 17 and just mark 5 that i will remove 5 in the later half but not now got it next uh, next element i want to insert is let's say let's say 30 to remove inserting 30 will like if I just and I want to let's say remove 20. If I want to remove 20 and insert 30, the maximum will again become 30. So the removing 20, I don't think so is any need. So just insert 30 and it is fine. Okay. But let's say that now I want to now like I I have shifting this whole uh, window and now I have marked in map what all elements I want to remove. Let's say I want to remove 25, but I have not removed because it is like lower in this stack or in this priority queue, which is not relevant to us, but I have marked it somewhere. Similarly, I have now marked 30 to be removed as well. Okay. And let's say I am now shifting my window. So if I now, if I have removed 20 and 30, but I want to, let's say, introduce 21 in this area. Okay. If I introduce 21 in this area, the maximum is 30. But 21 will go less in this array. But I have also marked in the map that 30 is already removed. I have not removed it yet, but it is removed. So what I'll do is that I will do a for loop and just pop out the top elements until I'll reach 21. Because I will just check in map that okay, the top element is removed. Yes, it is removed. So why I'm putting it on top? Remove it. 25. 25 is removed. Remove. Remove it. 20 is removed. Uh, I think so. Let's say it is. It is not removed. So 20 is not there. So why remove 20? 20 is putting in the top now. And I want to insert 21, so 21 is insert. So all of those removal will only be done by according to the map. So map is just storing all the numbers that is already removed, but you have not removed it. But after the iterations, when it comes to the top, like when these numbers come to the top, like after removing or deletion, then we will remove it because for removing from the top will become over for login. Instead of removing from the bottom or like searching in the whole priority queue, because that will eventually cause us a lot of time. That's all optimization that we have done here. So this is the map here that we have made and then what we've done is that for every number that we are removing so as you can see that we are removing charge of i minus minus similarly from running from i minus we have moved and similarly from charge of i minus minus like i minus minus we are removing but we are actually marking it it in the map not removing directly from the priority queue now in this while loop what we are checking is that whether the top of the element if the top element is not end so let's say there's still more elements in the priority queue and the top of the element is actually equivalent to the value in the map okay so if it is like like in the map then i will remove that particular element from the parity queue subtract its value from the map and we'll keep on removing until the top value becomes zero like if like that particular value is not in the map so if the map is telling that i have removed 30 just remove that value from the top from the parity queue if it is on the top so we will keep on removing that value and if it becomes zero then remove that particular entry from the map itself because we don't want that particular entry from the map itself but what we are trying to do here is that we are popping out the elements from the parity queue if it is not required and it is on the top of the parity queue and also marked in the map okay that is some small optimization such that we don't have to actually remove the elements from every point but we will only remove when they are on the top that will actually save us a lot of time and that will eventually like uh, a small optimization that we have done and that will pass the whole 
So I will paste down the code in the description so you can check out the code and play around with it. So that's the logic and the code part for the food problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention down in the comment box. I will be happy to give all my suggestions. I will see you in the next one. Lucky coding and bye.